How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, was it was like meant traveling to rain through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a great reef. Subnautica. Uh, hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we right. found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left huh. it below deck if you want to check it out. Shit, dude. An old bullet. Is this what he's going to flip? Serious, something's up, yeah. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Who? Julia. Are you happy? <laughs> well, yes, actually, I am. Very much so, actually. <laughs> yeah, sure, relax. Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? Happy future. She's excited and reckless. Say yeah, happy. Be happy. I think we've got a long and Be the happy go lucky together. person of the party. I do. Really. You know, you will not happy go lucky. Happened to me. Ooh. Hit him with the romance. I love you, Alex. He didn't you say know it back. Where everybody is. I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Oh no, he didn't say it back. Hey, you seen my brother or Fliss? Uh, no, I got distracted. Let's I go walk. get him. Sure. What'd you get distracted by? You literally so, walked two steps. Which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? What's up, bro? Uh, frustrated or disapproved? Frustrated. Fuck this On behalf dude. of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. How long did it take him to get beers? Got a brewski? What are they gonna eat? All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey, yeah, what are they gonna eat? They like they got stranded, no? Ah, all right. All right. You seem kind of preoccupied. So what was I doing? No, I'm good. All right, Sorry. getting uh, getting stuff, no? Out. Oh yeah, the camera. What you, what pictures did you take? So does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, okay. and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever. Holy shit, that's a good picture. Well, my lips are safe. Air Rescue Command. So, Pony Island. We're going again tomorrow? It looks like an alien. Uh, what the yeah. fuck? It looks like E.T. swimming, bro. What the fuck is that? Some good lighting down there. Hey, oh. got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Huh? I was exploring. I can't believe it. You took me. I got kidnapped. Got it. Let's go up. Got it. Come here, you vixen. You vixen? Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. gold. 
Who wants to find some sunken treasure? She so wasn't treasure Adam? hunting. Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten I'll shot down off, before though. they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? No, I told it's you not to leave everything down there downstairs. alone. Oh, come on. They're We've not breaking down the gates I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They Make were them sound like demons breaking no, into hell. No, you did or whatever like you that. wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? That's fucking no rude. No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I that never thought about like it like superstition. that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. Before. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, <laughs> you got a fun ghost story, right? A fun ghost story? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here too let's hear it we could all use a good show yeah let's hear it let's hear it i bet you can spin a good yarn it's kind of messed up actually what <laughs> scare away little bro okay here goes this story is true it had happened right near here in an old lighthouse classic setup wait true story where'd you hear this if you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. <laughs> the lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Yeah, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm listening. Shh. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So... They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. What the Always fuck? an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets. Giblets. You should embellish the facts. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman. the woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, what? yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. What? Horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. And it's him. Closer. And he sees. It's his own yeah, face. Yeah, fucking called it. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Cool story, bro. <laughs> you have me going. Pretty cool. I think he told it better last time, but good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. 1099. Where'd you read that? 
the internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Wouldn't they go back to shore? Why are they just sleeping in the boat like this? They did tape turned in early, it's 11 p.m. It's a bit fucking windy. He's the fisherman, right? They got everyone. They got got, bro. They got caught lacking. Why him, you may ask? Because he's in the middle, so he can probably grab Conrad and Darba Chick while Conrad frees Fliss. See? Now that everyone can speak. So, you okay? What are they gonna do? I think do? so. Oh, he got hit. Oh, yeah, he got hit by the bottle. Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! Red Fox and Guns, bro. That's peace. Oh, free. That's wild. I could never. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I missed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? Uh, I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex. Yeah, where's what are Brad? What do to us? If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Untie. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. <laughs> oh, shit. That's no good. Come on. <laughs> no. I should have dodged. Dickhead. I should have investigated. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Come on, dude. It's raining. Why are you throwing him in the rain?
What do you want? Yeah, be serious for once. What do you fuckers want? A knife. Uh, what? Not the ear. Don't take the ear. Slow down. Easy. Beg or say fuck you. I think yeah, he would say fuck you at this point. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill you! Ah! Oh, he lost an ear! We finish with him later. Maybe I should not have said fuck you, but I think I was playing the character. He's an idiot and uh, arrogant. Be on your best behavior, little man. Resentful. Get off! Get off! <clears throat> what? Where did they get the scissors from? Oh yeah, it's her room. Julia. Snipped a bit of his ear off. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Dipstick! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. <sighs> Is my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay. They're coming. I can hit him with the depth zero. No mind. Oh, wait, it was the curator behind him. That's the curator. Fuck. Motherfuckers. What's he doing? Hey, hey, are you okay? What did he do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. They're trying to yunk your money. I mean, he, he was an arrogant asshole and threw money into the water. Fucking Conrad. I blame him. Just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. The entire fucking game is Conrad's fault. can get on their boat. Get some help. Uh, be literate? These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window. Climb around the side and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Sounds like a plan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, what the hell are you thinking? What? What the hell, guys? I went around time. That was perfectly timed. I, I perfectly timed that. 
It was the second the noise hit. Big old Danny. He ain't got the shooter. Grab the knife. Drop it, Buster. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. Oh, fuck's <clears throat> sake, they go cool. Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Olsen. Olsen? Uh, escape. Get enough time to pick it up. Oh fuck. Oh. I thought that we can't catch him with this old junker. Bring them downstairs. Dig this. Use it if you have to. That was close. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Put my fist in your face, not punch you. I'll put it in your face. Manchurian gold. Come here. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian gold? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. What's the gold? <laughs> Connie can take care of himself. All right, shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. That's fucking rude. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. How fucking dare you? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? Damn right. You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us Damn up. Damn asshole. Put a cork in it. I missed that. That was way too quick. I can't believe it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. If you try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. Get it? Hi. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. 
Over. We read you. Everything okay? Over. How about the storm? Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. An hour? You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Uh... that's a sign of like not replying is like hey we need help yo they're keeping me on my toes what the fuck almost lost bliss into the ocean the pain stick Save yourself Conrad before you save another one. Hey, why are you saying this out loud? He could help. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big wolf. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. There it is, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Brad stays down there. Everyone's still alive. And someone could die? Things could have been quite different. <sighs> what are you doing? You were on the boat, bruv. You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out. I mean, mm. Conrad can get help, right? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. All right. Tempted? Yes. I'm curious. Forwarding is forearmed. Confident. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. I didn't get the hint. You'll learn soon enough. <laughs> Oops, I re re <laughs> as a noted hint. My bad. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Okay, dude. He popped that shit like. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. I'm going to end it here. 
I'm assuming this is a safe spot. I think this is a good time to save it. So for now, I think we're done. So yeah, I had fun. I enjoyed this game. Sadly, I do have to end early today. But yeah, for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're watching this on Twitch, uh, hit the follow button. It helps out a great deal. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. I will be back with Mano Madan next Friday, and hopefully it shouldn't be interrupted. Hopefully it should be a four-hour stream instead of this awkward one and a half hour stream kind of thing but something came up that i need to deal with so yeah for now i'm gonna drop this off again thank you guys for much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one so for now peace everyone